Hey guys, this is your girl Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. And guess what? This is where the magic happens. Ah, with all my lovely organic spices. Today I have an interesting recipe. And of course, you know, we always try to simplify everything on the show, right? Of course, sure you do. So without further ado, let's get started. You curious? Are you curious? Hmm, stick around. Hola foodies, this is your girl Mala, and guess what? Guess what we're making today? We're going to be making some baklava, of course, a la Mala style. So let's see what do we got going on here. You've got a little pot, of course, we're going to need some melted butter. I've got another pot here, which we're going to make our simple syrup in. And what do we have over here? You've got some cinnamon. We've got some Turkish phyllo dough. You've got some water. We've got some sugar, some lemon. We're going to put a little bit of Valencia orange, some honey. And of course, we'll be using walnuts, pecans, and of course, we've got some sugar. And a big old pan here, a 13 by 9, to fit this entire baklava in. Just picked this baby for my little lemon tree here for the baklava syrup, simple syrup I'm about to make. And as you can see, here's another one right there. Not quite ready, but this one was. And so this one's gonna go into our simple syrup. Before we get started with anything else, we're gonna start on making our simple syrup. Alrighty, so let's get started. We're going to add one cup of water just like that we've already measured out our sugar so one cup of sugar and if you know me i love using vanilla sugar that's where i put my vanilla pot so i infuse my sugar in that now we're going to kind of eyeball this which is what i usually like to do but i'm going to be putting one cup of honey so what do we have in here so far we've got a cup of water a cup of sugar and we're eyeballing a cup of honey and there we go so far so good next we're gonna add a cinnamon stick of course get one of these babies out get a nice little piece out there we go yep that looks about right so we're gonna put one of these in here and that's the good stuff, guys. So see, there we go. Cinnamon stick. Oh, it smells heavenly because we want to infuse this simple syrup. And of course, I'm gonna put like maybe just about two drops of Valencia orange in here. One, two, and that's it. Before, I need to put a couple of pieces of lemon rind. And of course, I have taken this, a couple of little pieces right off of my little lemon tree this morning. So I can say thank you to my little guy. Oh, it smells so good. So just a couple of pieces in here. There we go. Make sure we get all those pieces in. Here we go. Okay, there we go. I think that's about it. A couple of lemon pieces in there. So as you can see, the rinds. And now I'm going to roll this and I'm going to add some lemon juice. So of course you want to roll this just like so. I'm going to cut this in half. And we're going to use this little contraption thing here, which always hurts me in the end. But we're going to open it just like this. And even though you're tempted to put the lemon in this way, don't. Nothing will come out. You put it in the opposite way, just like so. And then we're going to squeeze down on this little guy. Here we go. And watch those juices flow. 
There we go. And this is going to balance out our simple syrup. So that's a nice, big, juicy lemon. And this is what all of our ingredients look like for our simple sugar syrup. So it's time now to get this baby on the stove and get simmering. There we go. Let's add some heat. And there we go. Turn that down nice and low. Let's get that to a nice little rolling boil. And baby's got some heat on it. There we go. Yep, we've got some medium heat on that. And as you can see, I've already melted up some butter there and we're waiting. Now let's get started on getting some nuts. Once again, we've got some walnuts and we'll be using some pecans. So walnuts and pecans. Now let's start chopping them up. Now you can all, you know, make your life easy and put them in a fruit processor and chop them, but I like a little bit of texture in mine, so I'm going to hand chop mine. Take a look at our simple syrup. It is doing amazing things, and boy, does it smell heavenly. I can smell a little hint of that cinnamon and those citrus flavors. The scents come right through. So we're going to let that keep on going. So I'm going to start with about two cups of the pecan halves. So we've got like one. And we have about two there. We're going to get started on chopping these. And then I'm going to continue with two cups of walnuts and do the same process. Okay, let's get started on chopping these babies. Now, like I mentioned, I did not want to put this in a food processor because I like a little bit of texture on my nuts because especially in a baklava, I don't want it to be basically a nut dust. I want to be able to know that, hey, I've got a little bit of nuts in here going on and I could be able to recognize that. So let me just continue this. And then we'll get started on the walnuts. Alrighty, so now that our filling is done, take a look at this. Beautiful. Let's take a look. Nice close look. There we go. So we're just going to incorporate this all together. And once again, we used pecans and walnuts in here. And of course, I've got way more filling than I need, but that's the point. I wanted to drizzle some on top of the baklava when it's done. And whatever is left over, I'm going to put in a nice little Ziploc bag and keep that for some ice cream sundaes. So now we're going to start flavoring this up just a little bit. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of confection sugar to this. There we go. And I'm going to do a couple dashes of cinnamon. So that's round about a, I would say two dashes, right? So probably about a half of a teaspoon or so. Then we're going to mix this baby up just like so. Get all these flavors in. And then we're going to get ready for some assembly. Oh, how gorgeous does this look? Beautiful. So our nut mixture, our stuffing is all done. And that's ready for us. I'm going to set that to the side. And I want to show you guys what our simple syrup looks like. Look how beautiful. Beautiful. See? Look at that wonderful, wonderful drip we've got going there. 
yep we've got those nice long strands coming down and that's about where we want this to be so this is cooling down beautifully look at that beautiful color we have in here so we're just gonna set this off to the side let that cool our butter is all melted and waiting on us so let's get started here so I'm all organized we've got our nut mixture over here our stuffing I've got a 13 by 9 uh, ceramic bowl here which I'm gonna butter up in a few minutes and I've got my phyllo dough which I've already taken out of the package and if you remember I said I was using a Turkish phyllo dough here we go a Turkish phyllo dough now let's just open up this baby just a little bit here like so and here we go just want to keep this just like this we're gonna be very gentle as we work with this because we don't want it to break apart And I'm going to cover this up with a damp cloth that I have, which is right here, right there. In the bowl, we're going to drizzle here some butter. So we're going to start with a bit of butter because we want to make sure the bottom of this bowl is well greased as well as the sides so we're going to be very generous greasing the sides and greasing the bottom very well there we go want to make sure nothing sticks to this bowl so we've got plenty of grease in the bottom. And maybe we'll take a little bit more just to make sure I get the sides really well. Here we go. You can never have too much butter here. There we go. Yep, got it into all of these corners all the way up the sides and now that baby is well greased there we go perfect now we're ready to start our layering process okay so the sheets are quite large so what i'm doing is i'm taking a large one place it on the bottom and i'm actually folding them in half like this i'm going to put the other half that came apart just like so just like this and then the end i'm actually going to trim up so this is what we're going to do layered our first layer with a double i'm going to add some butter Lay this down nicely over here. Want to make sure we get enough butter in here. And then I'm going to continue layering. I'm going to take another sheet. And we've got another double sheet here that I folded. 
and add it. There we go. Tuck that in nicely like that. Get some more butter. Let's put another layer on. Again, some butter. Butter on this baby. More butter. Let's get these layered while I'm working. I am going to put back my cloth over my filo dough. That sneeze nice and moist. There we go. Brush that butter nice and even all over. Here we go. Looks beautiful. Beautiful. This is really, truly a labor of love, but trust me, it is worth it. Now, next, we're going to start with our layering of our nut mixture. Here we go. There we go. And add a bit more. And while you have your hands, your hands are actually your best tools. So quite frankly, I prefer to use my hands. So we're going to layer this up nicely. Want to make sure we've got some beautiful nuts in here. And let's get ready for another layer. There we go again. Another double layer. As we go right there. Tuck that baby in. Let's get some butter. Get another layer of some nuts on. Alrighty, so I started to trim up the sides here using my trusty little knife cutting so that it looks so much neater on all sides. And let's get some more butter going here. Quick little hack, I've already folded two sheets and what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to trim off the ends so that when I pop this in my dish, it should pretty much fit. There we go. And voila, I'm gonna add some more butter to this baby. There we go, let's cover this back up. There we go. Layer, layer, layer. You know, so there's been a lot of debate as to where baklava first started. The Greeks claim it as theirs, Middle East claim it as theirs, but in actuality, it really did start in the Middle East. It really is, really, truly did. Sorry to all my Greek friends, but I have to say, whatever version you make, whether it's Greek or Turkish inspired or Middle Eastern inspired, whichever version it is you choose to make, baklava is baklava and it is delicious. It is a simple dessert, quite frankly, I think for the gods. Amazing, truly amazing. Now, I know with the Turkish or Middle Eastern um, version, 
with a simple syrup you in addition to what I've done some people would add a little bit of cloves to it for the infusion and finish up with a bit of rose water now of course this is a la mala style so no cloves no rose water because what is it it's baklava a la mala style so I make it the way I like it and traditionally you can add either uh, pistachios in here to make this stuffed with pistachios or you can do walnuts by itself or you know I prefer to have a blend of walnuts and pecans sometimes I'll use a pistachio but uh, today this is kind of what I have on hand and this is what I'm using so time to continue this layering got another sheet in we have got it as you can see it's all nicely trimmed up going to get some more butter in here dessert for the gods let me tell you super decadent so yummy so truly yummy and let's get some of that uh, stuffing on again there we go and this is the reason why i like to use a lot of nuts remember we chopped up two cups of pecans and two cups of walnuts now you can certainly use less as in half the quantity that i i've used which is one cup of walnuts one cup of pecans or you know you can do two cups of whatever nuts of your choosing but like i said this is the blend that i like and uh this is what we're gonna do all righty so another pastry layer is in time to do our beautiful butter job again and once again these pastry sheets are quite large so what I did was two pastry sheets I basically doubled it cut it cut off the end so it's basically like four layers in between each of these here so that it can be a bit more substantial as it holds up to the nuts so two large sheets folded in half that's basically four layers and I trimmed off the edges now let's get that nut layer on again get that along the edges because I'd hate to be the person getting an end piece and you get jibbed with a nut. No, definitely not cool. Definitely not cool. And of course, it's probably not my OCT <laughs> that makes me need to cover every single surface or edge on this. And we continue layering. Another layer on. Time to get some butter. Yep, making sure no one gets jibbed on this. Everybody, we're all equal. So I think this is pretty much it for the filling that I want to add. Now I'm just going to continue layering on the puff pastry sheets on the top and uh, get ready to bake. Here we have another puff pastry sheet on we're kind of done with the filling for now I'm just gonna move this off to the side so I can turn this it's a little bit better visual for you guys to see and oops let's get that butter going there you go like I mentioned before the sheets are large so I've used two sheets 
folded in half and I've trimmed off the edges. And of course, I don't like that piece right there. So we're going to remove it, clean that up right there. So it's looking a lot nicer and neater. And now that we're done with the filling portion, I'm just going to continue layering like so. We've got these one, two sheets here. Right here, edges trimmed off. And we're gonna pop this baby on here. And I just popped it on the other way, just so we can kind of alternate in between the folds of the sheet. And now we're going to add some butter. And another layer on. We're going to go for some more butter. Yeah, baby butter. Mm, yummy, yummy. Can't wait for you to get in my tummy. Yeah, I know, guys. It sounds a bit corny, but hey, what are you going to do, huh? When you're in the kitchen, and, you know, I would have liked a nice soft music, but um, YouTube and all its rules, baby. Even if I've got something soft going, they're likely to pull a video of mine and say, hey, copyright issues. I'm like, uh, don't anyone listen to music as they work? Of course they do not stealing music but oh well look at this gorgeous pastry huh beautiful let's go get another layer yep let's go get another layer and check this baby out yep looking nice and let's get some more butter. More butter, more butter, more butter, more butter, more butter. Yeah, baby. Nicely done here. I must say so myself. Yes, I'm tooting my own horn. I know, I know. When you're proud, you're proud. And there's no shame in being proud of your work. There you go. Get another layer on just like so and here we go look how beautiful that looks there we go time for some more you guessed it butter baby butter 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 here we go and what I'm going to do is I have like, I'm going to finish with about four sheets, which I'm going to double. And I'm going to trim off the edges. Trim off, trim off, trim off here. There we go. Let's do a little trim over here. Nicely done, I must say so myself. I'm gonna peel back about a half of this. We have two sheets. Right here. Hold up this final two sheet. I'll take that in just a second. That will be our last layer. Add some more butter on this baby. Yep, and guys, by the way, I melted two sticks of butter because I wanted to make sure I have plenty. Some folks probably use a little less than me, but um, hey, it is the holidays. You know, it is a pastry. I'm not trying to use this pastry for a weight loss. This is not skinny me baklava. This is love yourself baklava. Okay, it's a beautiful, decadent treat. And I have to say, it's very light. It's gonna, you know, the filo dough is very light and it's got that beautiful nut stuffing, that center, yum, yum. 
And now we're going to finish with the final piece of pastry dough. There we go. Ta-da! And let's just drizzle up some butter on this. Chubby. Okay, gonna brush this. And then we have to score our pastry. So we'll be right back in a second to start that process. Okay, so let's go down on the center. You want to make sure that you cut all the way down through the pastry because this way it will be easier <laughs> later on so as you're going you want to run that knife nice and through to make sure you get all those bits i clean that portion up i hate a mess now i'm gonna spin this a little and i'm gonna go down the center again and gentle. Now I'm going to go ahead and score this again. So let's see right here. continue to score this until we're done alrighty so as you can see I've scored I've the baklava I've cut straight down the center cut it across to make a cross and then with each little segment I cut it again in half and then I went on the diagonal with each piece so I have several pieces in here two four six eight and we have eight, 16 pieces total. So now with my extra butter, what I'm gonna do is I am simply going to pour it into the little crevices to make sure everything is nicely buttered up. There we go. There we go. Get all that in there, all that beautiful goodness. Just make sure everything is nice and settled in there. Beautiful. And now we're going to go straight to the oven. And in the oven we are, right there. We're going to bake at 350 and we're going to go for about 45 minutes or so. The sterling is ready to come out of the oven. Alrighty, so our baklava is, our pastry is hot out of the oven. Look how beautiful we look, gorgeous. And now it's time to drizzle on this beautiful syrup or a simple syrup. I'm gonna make sure it gets into all of these nice little crevices. Oh, yummy! Oh, yes. Oh yeah, you can probably hear a little bit of a sizzle. 
little bit of a crackle. Yep. Cool syrup on hot pastry. That's the sound. Oh, yeah. Yummy, 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 yummy. Oh, this smells and looks amazing. Get all of that beautiful goodness in. Now it's time to make this little darling look pretty. Remember all those nuts I've done? Well, here's my leftovers, and this is what I'm going to do, is I am simply going to drizzle some on the top, just like so. Make, make them look pretty. Look how gorgeous they look. Beautiful. Now, I can't wait for this all to be cooled down. And oh my goodness, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. We need to rest this for about five to six hours or so before cutting into them. And I would pretty much like to have this rested. And then what I think I'll do is I'm gonna take each piece, if I can, and put them into these little cupcake uh, papers, little cupcake carrier thingies like this. Now little baking trays, so we'll see. Moment of truth, here we go. All of that. Wow. How beautiful does this look, huh? Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Check out all of those layers. Let me just put this down here. Wow. That is amazing. I have to say simply amazing i love the layers we can see on this baby wow show you guys what it looks like inside take a look at that okay once more take a look all those layers yummy 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 in my tummy those are beautiful layers Mala style take a look at those these three layers. Yep. Gorgeous. Oh yeah. And look at the layers of nuts. Oh yes. Oh yeah.
And here we are again. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Mala coming to you from the fabulous Mala's Kitchen to yours where magic and more happens. Thank you so much for watching again. And please, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Give me a like, a follow, a share, and hey, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.